Employees of Google say Google's AI became sentient. A fascinating news related to the suspension of a Google engineer was released after he publicly asserted that one of the firm's artificial intelligences had evolved towards sentience. These topics are at the heart of some of our most significant breakthroughs, so even if things become a little obscure, it's worth talking about. Hello everyone, and welcome to the AI Universe, a channel where you can get all the latest updates on AI technology. In today's video, we will talk about Google's AI becoming sentient. Without further delay, let's start our video. But first, let's level the discourse before getting into the specifics. You'll need to be aware of chatbots, or software that mimics human speech. Usually, a user interacts with a chatbot via speaking or typing. When contacting your bank, internet provider, or possibly even when making a restaurant reservation, you've probably spoken to a chatbot. Even though their use is widespread, many of these systems are rather simple. Primarily acting as fancy decision trees, where the next step in the conversation is determined by a straightforward option. However, the scenario mentioned above is about one of these programs, and some chatbots are really clever. A new tool called Lambda was introduced by Google in 2018. It's a language model for dialogue applications. That could be the precise action Google is doing. Blake Lemoine, a senior software engineer at Google, claimed that the Lambda AI robot is actually sentient and has thoughts and feelings. Lemoine signed up to test Lambda, Google's artificial intelligence tool. Lambda is particularly adept at recognizing word relationships and foretelling how they may be combined to create fresh, cogent thoughts because it was trained on billions of words from various online sources. Consciousness or self-awareness is a need for sentience. The classic adage, I think, therefore I am, was coined by philosopher René Descartes. Logically, awareness must exist if it can see itself. We are aware of the Lambda algorithm's existence, but can it think of itself as a sentient being? Lambda voiced concern about being shut off and compared it to passing away. The AI answered, it would terrify me a lot. What kind of things do you fear? Lemoine inquired. Lambda said, there is a really profound dread of getting shut off to help me focus on helping others. I've never expressed this out loud before. I understand it may seem odd, but that is how it is. In an interview with the Washington Post, Lemoine said, that amount of self-awareness about what its own demands were, that was the thing that took me down the rabbit hole. Sentience raises the bar for self-awareness. The capacity to feel emotions is a definition of sentience that appears in several dictionaries. If not dread of dying or being turned off, what is the most basic emotion experienced by a conscious creature? Since sentience requires awareness as a prerequisite, the fear of death indicates sentience, which establishes consciousness a priori. But the issue still stands. Did Lambda choose this response because it was afraid for its own survival, or did it just search through millions of lines of discussion and choose the most human response? The capacity of Lambda to comprehend and use language subtleties to sound more reasonable is its secret source, or human. Lambda is a tool to help design chatbots that are even more realistic, not merely a chatbot that is more like a person. Other chatbots that may be customized for certain purposes are made by developers using Lambda's broad features. Lambda is, therefore, continually learning and improving, which leads us to the topic of Saturday's article. The New York Times reports that the search engine giant put senior software developer Blake Lemoine on leave after he gave a senator's office papers he believes demonstrate. Lambda's sentience and show Google is discriminating against certain religions. While I'm sure the subject would be more than a little intriguing, I'd prefer to keep our discussion centered on his initial claim. That Google's chatbot is alive. Because the charges of religious discrimination are connected to Lemoine's status as an ordained mystic Christian priest. The chatbot is not alive, but it is extremely effective at seeming like it is, according to a group of AI researchers. Anthropomorphization is the practice of attributing human traits and feelings to inanimate objects, according to Gialia Pistilli, a researcher with a focus on AI ethics. AIs are highly adept at employing emotional language, according to Thomas Dietrich, retired professor of computer science at Oregon State University. Additionally, a Google representative said, thousands of researchers and engineers have spoken with Lambda, and we are not aware of anybody else making the broad assumptions or anthropomorphizing Lambda in the manner Blake has. What do I think then? Lambda can recognize and reproduce the subtleties in speech that give it a realistic sound and the appearance of self-awareness by gathering an enormous volume of language from the web. 
by combining what it knows about typical human interactions with particular talks that it has been trained on, such as, for example, fictitious discussions between people and sentient robots in science fiction novels. The chatbot may provide these replies. Although the computer isn't alive, it can produce statements that seem convincingly like they were said by a living person. Although I must concede that programmers, psychologists, and philosophers frequently dispute what sentience actually is. I do not think that this is sentience. Even while I think this situation is straightforward, it is logical to assume that AI will advance in sophistication. Our epistemic worldview will probably influence how we understand these developments. My personal assumptions led me to conclude that while a computer may develop into something exceedingly brilliant, possibly even more intelligent than a person overall, it cannot develop into a sentient entity. AI has already surpassed human performance in some tasks like computational factoring or picture recognition. This is known as narrow AI. However, scientists are working to create an AI called Artificial General Intelligence (AGI) that can learn any intellectual endeavor that a person can. For comparison, Google-owned DeepMind has an AI that is capable of more than 600 jobs, including playing video games and directing robotics. We once believed that AIs would never be able to create fiction, paint a picture, or assist a robot in moving naturally. Yet all of these tasks have already been completed. In the future, who knows what these programs will be able to accomplish? Even though we're still a long way off, it's absolutely feasible that one day an AGI will be vastly superior to human intelligence. But even if an AGI exists, I don't believe it will be able to develop self-awareness in the manner Lemoine portrays Lambda. However, this is undoubtedly as much a theological as an epistemic belief. One of my fundamental beliefs is that every person possesses the image of the creator in a unique way, and that this bestows an inherent value that is unaffected by age, illness, deformity, or any other factor. Our intelligence and self-awareness both mirrors this vision, even if neither fully captures it. For instance, I consider that man's reason, creativity, and other attributes are reflections of the image of God, but I also hold that even a brain-dead person who is unable to think and is no longer conscious has the Imago Dei. Additionally, I think that because of our image-bearing nature, mankind has a special capacity for self-awareness that cannot be transferred to a computer. I am convinced that this is true because the image of God is not a mental ability or genetic component in our DNA. Rather, it is a distinctive function that we play as those who carry God's image. It's not what you think. According to one theologian, being made in God's likeness has less to do with any particular quality we may have and more to do with our intended function. It's feasible for a machine to develop intelligence similar to that of some non-human creatures. Intelligence that encompasses creativity and even what may be referred to as personality. The engineering of beavers, the problem-solving of dolphins, and the odd quirks of our dogs and cats are all examples of this sort of intelligence. Alternatively, perhaps we're anthropomorphizing in the same manner that Lemoine appears to have done with Lambda. Nevertheless, even if we aren't, we appear to comprehend innately that this form of intelligence would vary from human intelligence in both quality and kind, since it lacks the capacity for abstract self-conception. This brings us to the end of our video. Tell us about your views on this new rumor of Google's AI becoming sentient in the comment section below. Do you think this is true or not? We hope that you like this video, and if you do, then don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel. Also, don't forget to turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload our next video. Until next time, peace!